Hello and welcome to episode 3 of the RimWorld Let's Play And welcome to the happy world <laughs> Of a not so happy world Of RimWorld, we'll see how we go It's more, more like a horrible world So we'll, we'll, we are uh, finishing my defenses uh, last time And we were uh, also building the kitchen, freezer, uh, tavern, saloon in, in combo, whatever it was and we got Babarix to join us, and I have uh, some new names uh, already listed uh, for the next uh, couple of guys <clears throat> who want to join our colony. And uh, we'll, we'll need more names, so please uh, keep uh, <laughs> commenting and adding your names to the pool as well. Let's uh, speed up the time a bit as they are working. Soon we're gonna start adding bears in here as well, and um, all the things. We also try to tame this uh, this bear. Hopefully, hopefully it decides to join us. Who's my animal handler? You, you're a negotiator. So Paizo, wake up. Go, get us a bear. Oh, and uh, oh yeah, there was the pirate attack as well. Where was that? It was the naked guy. Well, not naked guy. With a junker rifle. Uh, how about we prepare uh, our defenses and do that? Can you Pavarix flick the switch? I think the turrets should be more than enough to handle that guy. But. Wouldn't hurt to get these guys into safety as well. There he comes. There's a bit of stone formations here uh, for defense. Where they could take cover. Is your rifle... It's longer distance than... Uh, the turrets, I think. Yeah, it is. So we need to close in. Oh, bargaining. Oh, it's one tile away, of course. <clears throat> How about you? Eat shard rifle. Ow, bungee. Gunship wound in the torso. Ouch. Headshot in the Agatha. Can do it. Oh, he he didn't die. Awesome. You in the bed, you guys. Go eat. Uh, junker rifle. Let's uh, let's get a bed for uh, this guy. Just there. We get into a prisoner, prisoner bed. And Babarix, you pantless bastard, go grab, capture him, her, I guess. Teenage female drifter. Might be really difficult to convert. Good social. That'd be nice. That was Sanguin. Oh, she has actually really good uh, stats. So, who's my doctor? Uh, Paizo. Oh, Paizo's going there. Good. Heal up Bungie. And uh, let's see. 68. Yeah, this guy is. Not too bad. We'll give you medicine, take care of you, and recruit. Because uh, state first is tougher to break mentally. Sanguine, always pretty damn happy, which is awesome. And cold lover, well, that's that's fine <laughs> as well. He's incapable of uh, quite a lot of stuff, but really good social and some other stuff. So would be an okay, okay addition. It's more more meat bodies always. It's good. Uh, let's do some. Well, we're mining this side already. We need a. We really bad. We need a. Some metal and really quick. Let's 
Let's see, who was my miner? You are my mining. So, put you back to the mining duty and, and the other guy can build. Uh, we also need some lights in here. This is uh, still blueprint. So my food uh, is not even inside. That means my medicine is not inside, which is not good. So yeah, get get some metal for us. So we get the coolers done, the power lines done, everything done. Lights in here in the into the room. It's my guardian bear. If you escape the prison, there's a bear waiting at the doorstep. Are you cleaning, sir? No, actually, I'm just finishing the roads. 12% chance. Yeah, that's actually really good. Is your social high? Yeah, you're actually really good social. I didn't remember a Paisa being this good. But yeah, this is a very, very, very high social. Well, not such very high, but... Burning Bash and 9 is really good. Really good social. And 12% chance to recruit is... It's gonna happen very soon. It's like 8 tries on average. Still no sound of the mining. It's kind of strange. I don't know what uh, removed uh, the mining sound from the game. It's it's probably one of the mods breaking something. I would imagine. So there was no no setting thing uh, here either that I see that would have done that. So it must be some uh, some mod uh, breaking that. Sadly. Oh well. Oh, well, these actually do require lamb. Uh, uh, power, but only only two power per square. That's not much. I think the big lamps are hundred and yeah, hundred and fifty. These are only twenty, but they don't provide provide nearly as much light either. So it's understandable. Well, you did be part of the power line now, but did you finish the power line as well? Peaches. Yeah, these uh, these will, will be spoiling if we don't get uh, this done. Oh, oh! It's being attacked by a grizzly bear. Run! Oof! How bad did you get hurt? Not too bad. Grizzly bear revenge. Crap. We, we need to kill the grizzly bear. All hands on deck. Are you bleeding badly, sir? Just a trivial bleeding rate is not too high. We'll uh, force this open. You open the door for the bear. And run! Run! Well, I guess this uh, bear was not tamed. It's because it didn't have food. I guess. Well, now now the bear is this food. Permanent injuries in the eye. Nice. Oh well. We'll just eat, eat the bear now. Please uh, fix barbarics. Also, would be nice to get uh, these uh, walls walls completed for barbarics as well. There's a room here. Interesting. It's only this small, I think, or a bit bigger. So I don't expect there to be anything there. There is ancient danger in this, very likely. It's probably a hive. We'll have some visitors. <laughs> Do we have something nice for trade? Ah, these are just uh, tribals, so no. I don't know, maybe angering the trade partner was not the best idea. Especially because if my other trade partners are... Are not uh, having anything else except like wooden bows and all that stuff. <laughs> so 
So Paizo. Let's talk with this guy. Red fields. You have work meat. What's my food situation? It's not not the greatest, but it's not that bad either. Let's take this at least. Herbal medicine. Mm, no, we don't need. And I can just, no, that's that's terrible. Mm. Yeah, not not very interesting. Get the component at least. Uh, we also need a butchering table here. So wooden uh, butcher's table. Let's put it there, and uh, we need a, a kitchen. Just get a wood grill, I guess. Uh, yeah, put it. I guess we. Yeah, put it there. It's like a kitchen corner there now. And we need to build uh, the beds for these guys so they can sleep in there. Where is it from? Just book. Let's <laughs> get some mail. Quite late today. Usually the mail comes earlier in the day. Uh, oh, actually, we we have enough power to keep these uh, permanently on for now, so we don't actually need to turn off the power just yet. Another turret. I don't think we have power. Out. Actually, we might have power for this one as well. This will make me feel a bit, bit more secure about our base, at least for now. And also the... Below mood. Why are you so unhappy? Hideous environment. Hot. Is it hot? Oh, it is actually pretty damn hot. I uh, think we need coolers for our, uh, our people as well. Repulsive cell. Eight without table. Imprisoned. Yeah, let's uh let's move this guy here. Guess uh these cells are not not so nice. We're getting power. Prisoner Agatha is escaping. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> are you <laughs> sleepwalking and growling? Are you? Whoa, buddy. Just a bit of garnished wounds. Go, go the reds. Well, guess we didn't uh, capture a then. My my prisoner movement into there wasn't uh, that great. Oops! <laughs> and Barbaris got shot again. Poor Barbaris. Uh, Paizo, can you? Yeah, and can you patch him up again? Poor bugger. Yeah, these uh, provide not enough light in my opinion. At least not for this this kind of room. Gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna see how much light these do. Let's put one of those uh, floor lamps on this room, just standing in the middle there. We have a butcher's table finally, so we can add a creature butchers do forever, and we can also add. A some grilled vegetables do until we have 10 of those and then do some grilled uh, steaks for us as well and do until we have 10 of those as well and that is pretty awesome is this uh, indoors now? yes cool it up so our food doesn't spoil as well and the concrete floor is almost done these uh, do not really 
light up at all. I think it's meant there that you have like a lot more of these than just those two to actually properly light up the whole building. Okay, they should keep it cool enough. Our automatic power switches are done. Let's see. Let's get stone cutting next, maybe. Yeah, let's get stone cutting next. Stone cutting is uh, really nice. Redfields absolutely enjoyed his day. They left 100 silver work meat, herbal medicine, package servo meat, advanced components. This advanced component. Ooh, advanced component. Just like normal component, just better and blue. Awesome. Awesome. So they like the, the stay in our happy colony so much. They left uh, left some goodies for me. That's that's very very awesome. Um, let's see here. Is a uh, barbaric room almost done? Yes. Good good job. I'm gonna take these. Uh, well, I'm not gonna make them out of steel. So we need uh, we need some more wood. Time for some chopping. Chop, chop, chop. And chop, chop, chop. All of that. Uh, someone, take the bear. Chop it. Take the bear into the fridge. It's very tasty. Tastes like beef, to be honest. Had some uh, bear meat. Not, not very. Special, in my opinion. It's a bit more gamey, but still, it's just just meat. Uh, we need the wood, so we can actually make the wooden furniture. I'm, I'm not gonna waste the steel, steel on that. Also, some road uh, roads would be nice here. Close that door. Poor bear. I, I would have actually really liked uh, having the bear. Is that your ta tablet? Or phone? Or both? <laughs> it's surprisingly uh, hot here. 33 in spring. And I thought this was a uh, supposed to be fairly uh, colder temperate area. I didn't expect. We're definitely needing those coolers for these rooms as well. Uh, let's cancel that. And build some uh, coolers for uh, you guys as well. And then just put the wind through there so the air equalizes between the rooms. And we can turn those off as well. Yeah, these guys are actually getting hot now. That's not very good. How's the doggy's training going? Not very good. There's another bear cheating in my woods. Really nice uh, steel veins here. I really like that. We're getting quite a lot of building material from here. I wonder what uses these advanced components. They're really interesting. <laughs> Just like norm normal but blue. Okay. Uh, who's doing my plant cutting? You are. You're not growing. Let's do that. Yeah, absolutely do that. These should be probably harvested as soon as possible. I really wish we had a fifth guy. Because I would like to have a dedicated miner, dedicated crower, and dedicated builder. And I would like to have a dedicated chef as well. So, And dedicated researcher. Basically, I would like to have a guy dedicated for each each job, more or less. But 
but at least the, the food uh, issue is now solved. It's been cooled, and we have a lot of lot of food here. You can you can harvest that as well <laughs> while you are working there. Then make it feel out of place with the other potatoes. Paizo just researching through the night, increasing his research skill there at great speed. And there we are getting some building material now. Let's see, what is Bungie doing? Bungie is the miner. You are the grower, plant cutter, researcher. Holding the dude. Uh, let's get you uh, building, building a bit. Instead of... Uh, And uh, now we can queue the queue the furniture, the wooden ones. Let's see if I put a table here and here. And here and here. This is a bit of a waste, but it's for all the visitors. I don't want to have... Let's leave a space in there so they can go into the rooms. Yeah, now they can spend a lot of time there. And uh, we need some power for this as well. Training dummy. Let's see, what kind of lamps do I want in here? These uh, don't seem to light that much. But they don't also take power, so. Did I use the. Yeah, I used the floor lamp. I haven't tried a. Actually, is that the same thing? Floor light square. And this is square floor lamp. These are square floor lamps, 12 power each. These are uh, floor lights. I don't know if there's a difference between these. This one takes much more metal, though. Yeah. Let's try these uh, square lamps in the corners. Put here. Also add a couple of these uh, guest beds. Not too many, I guess. There are only 35 wood, though. So we'll just uh, get all of them done. So this is the saloon uh, slash tavern in whatever it is for our happy visitors. So there's the concrete floor. Of my room, there done, and there's some lights. Yeah, this uh, seems to light up so much more. These actually are not too bad. Quality is awful. There are 80. 80 for each. Well, it's only ha uh, like half of what this is. So, I don't know. I probably need to worry about more power soon as well. I also want to build a, a room uh, just for uh, the power buildings. Come on, doggy. Can we get trained? <laughs> no. 40% chance and we've been failing it like crazy. Insane. Dude, you're standing on a table. Guess we're gonna now demolish this uh, picnic area we have here since we have our uh, indoors uh, dining areas now 
I forgot to add tables there, uh, chairs there. Does it look a bit odd? It's a lot of wood wasted uh, just on a extra furniture, but looks nice. It's gonna be great. Not a raid. Oof. It's uh, <laughs> ugly and dirty. It's mediocre. Very spacious though. And a uh, group of outlanders from Lawyer's Valley. Oh no, it's the IRS. Scrap tooth. What is this? Information. Improvised pistol manufactured by Ferals. Stronger and faster than normal pistol. Scrap tooth has lower accuracy and range. And you have steel cleaver. And you have bamboo maze. Nice. Man the battle stations. Power on? They're attacking immediately, which is not good. Can you flick that? You guys get here. Actually, you can stay there. Do you have uh, this gun? You go here. We'll ambush from the side. You go in there. You have a junker rifle. You can go in the doorway there. You go here. See what happens. There's a cougar in there as well. It's all melee, guys. Just there. Please don't break my turret. Would really like that. Peterson is running away. Can we catch? He has a bad back. That means movement is weakened. We can actually catch that guy. Go punch. Can you uh, repair that? We should be able to catch him if there's enough uh, space for us. Yeah, we, we seem to be gaining. <laughs> You're ours. You better run faster, Peterson. Stone cutting done. Uh, let's see. Uh, enhanced defense. Opens up research for more defenses. Hmm. Basic fuses. Kind of like that. Let's get fuses. So we don't get power explosions. Are they gonna catch him uh, before the edge of the map? I don't know. Yes, there. Yes, there. Hey, there's a uh, steel in there. Are they gonna kill him before he runs away? Don't know. Come on, punch faster, harder. Yes. Huh. Guys, you weren't supposed to kill him. <laughs> I, what? Grass seed is uh, going around? Okay. <laughs> Got a bit of punching, but that's fine. We killed him, so that's all, all that matters. And we got the pistols. And we won, uh, won this battle just fine. Did you hold the uh, other body? Did you eat the body already? Where did one of the bodies go? I think the cougar e ate one of the bodies. I, I feel. <laughs> Paizo, can you treat Joe Punk? And I think that's uh, the end of this episode. We got the defense up. Our uh, saloon, uh, kitchen, uh, fridge combo is almost done. So we can start planning some new stuff for the next episode. And hopefully we'll get some more uh, workers as well. But anyways, uh, thanks. Thanks for watching this episode of Rimware Let's Play. 
Uh, check out the other Let's Plays and the other content, like the reviews and stuff on the YouTube channel. And check out the live stream on Nara.tv every day. And I'll see you guys next time.